Luke and Luke, the easiest Luke. names to remember during this yeah. press day. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to the both of you. I've seen season two twice now. Huge Bridgerton fan. I know, nice. I know. Good already, idea. already. I loved it. I loved it so much. Congratulations to the two of you. I cannot wait for fans to see this show. There, there Luke Newton, first question for you. Mm -hmm. There's so many fans that ship Penn and Colin. Yes. And I'm wondering what you can tell the fans about their friendship and relationship this season and the future of their relationship. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, what's what's really interesting and what I loved about the scripts is that their relationship, we, you see that there's a shift in their relationship even from episode one and Colin hasn't even returned yet. You know, there's, there's <laughs> multiple references to, they've almost been pen pals while he's been away traveling and their relationship has kind of taken a... Pen pals. Very good. Pen pals. I planned it as well, so yeah. <laughs> Um, that, was, like, that was beautiful. You're, <laughs> a, you. you're a poet. <laughs> I didn't know it. Pen pals. Um, they've taken like a step up in their relationship. And as much as maybe that's that's not good uh, for Penelope in terms of getting carried away with her emotions and Colin not seeing what's right in front of him, there's definitely a shift um, and they see each other in different lights. And it's it's really it's been really nice to explore that journey and, and, and kind of stretch it out. You know, their, their relationship is really stretched out over the whole two seasons. So I'm excited yeah. to see where we, where we go with season three. I have no idea, but um, yeah, it's oh gonna be God. crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, well, obviously Benedict and Colin act like wingman for Anthony in season one and also season two. Do, have you guys acted as a wingman for your friends or siblings? Because like, I feel like I've been a wing woman for both my guy friends and yeah. my girlfriends. Luke Thompson, I want to begin with you. Um, I don't know, no. I mean, I, th I, don't, I don't think I have actually. No. So it's quite nice to explore that side. That's yeah. the best thing about acting, I guess, is you yeah. get to sort of like just- Be um... someone we're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I no. don't think, I don't think I'm, I'd be a very good wingman. I feel Why? like, I don't think, like I think I'd be too to the point and I'd be like, he's great, isn't he? Like, he's, <laughs> he's brilliant, isn't he? He's like, look how handsome he is, like he's great. And they'd be like, this is so obvious. Yeah. I, I'm not very smooth with you like- You did call me a prince earlier. That yeah, I nice. did. So yeah. maybe I've wingmanned you to all the fans up there. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are so funny. I'm glad you guys are having like a great time chilling in, in the room doing press today. <laughs> yeah, it. I, I, love, I love watching it. Um, well, a huge theme of this season is being true to yourself and following your heart. The character of Ed Edwina actually says that. Mm. Who were those people in your life to could, like make you help you follow your dreams when you were first getting into this business? Luke, and any Luke can begin. <laughs> I think uh, both my aunties were musical theaters, theater performers. So growing up, I always I used to go and see them in the theater from as young as like six years old. Even if the show wasn't quite appropriate for me to go and see, I'd still go and watch it mm. and absolutely love it and just fell in love with theater from a really young age. So I guess I always looked up to them and thought they do this as a job. They get to like play and be characters as a job. So I guess maybe maybe it's maybe that's part of it. And maybe that's the reason why mm. I'm kind of doing what I am today because I grew up watching them play for a job and mm. I was like that's exactly what I want to do so they kind of gave me a really good example of that so yeah yeah no I I love that I love that well I didn't get a chance to chat with either of you for season one and I'm curious you know how different was it coming back to set for season two following the insane success of season one and also during a pandemic what was your thoughts and take me back to set stepping back on the set that that first couple days of filming it was incredible yeah. it was such a strange moment because it was like so we, we our first scene that we did together was a bridgerton drawing room scene yes. i think so yeah. we were all it's one of those lovely scenes where we're all in the corner sort of sitting doing our own thing and occasionally just being nasty to each other yeah. essentially that's <laughs> yeah. those that's those scenes and it was strange because it felt like it had been, you know, five years, but it also felt like it had been yesterday. It yeah. was such a strange out of body experience. It was like stepping back into a dream. Yeah, genuinely. it really was. Yeah. Um, partly, as you say, because of the the the, the, the pandemic, but also just that um, it, it, it well that, that that suddenly like that drawing room, for example, had mm -hmm. sort of acquired this slight magic yes. from the first season. No, Whereas totally. I think when we went into the first season, it was a bit more sort of, oh, I, uh, you know, we, we don't really know how this is all going to line yeah. up. And so it, instead it felt like infused, like suddenly I, even recently going back to the, the actual house, yeah. the house feels different to me now. When I dr yeah. drive to a car and we go to the, 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 where they film the sort of front of the house, you're like, yeah. it's sort of got 
residence now because it's and you suddenly think oh people will look at that house and think no, that that's means, the Bridgerton house hundred yeah, percent um so it just has it it used to, yeah it was mad magical but also sort of very strange I yeah think, coming back that first yeah. day absolutely yeah I'm sure it was well they're wrapping me congratulations to the two of you on this season like I said I cannot wait for fans to see it when it drops on Netflix this Friday I hope you guys celebrate this week and have a great rest of your day thank, thank you very you so much, much. Nice great speak to you thank you both